Today we'll be laying out a symmetrical ad using isolated images with an inner shadow effect. Let's place in these two camera images and size them accordingly. I use the Shift Option command on my Mac and drag the objects to scale them proportionately. When using isolated images on a white or light background, I sometimes like to use a bar or some other design element on the bottom to anchor or ground the ad so everything doesn't feel so floaty. Now we'll create the text box and fill it with Greek to copy. Since this is a symmetrical ad, I'll center align the body copy. Let's cut it some. Change the font to a sans serif like Avenir and reduce the point size to 10. Next I'll center the text box with the bottom bar by selecting both and clicking on this center icon in the align window. I'll use the circle tool to create an oval which will represent our logo. Let's color it in light gray and center align it again with the bottom bar. Select the text box and press shift option and drag it up. This will copy and align it to create our caption for the camera image. Let's make it 12 point. Again, shift option drag the caption to the second image. Nudge to adjust positioning. Once again, let's shift option drag the text box below to create our headline. I'm going to use all caps, enlarge it, and color it the same blue as the bar. Make any adjustments. Now for the inner shadow effect. Let's copy and paste in place the bottom bar, drag it all the way to the top, and fill it with white. In the effects panel, choose multiply, which will make it like a transparent layer. Under objects, effects, choose inner shadow. Here you'll select your shadow color. Set both X and Y offsets to zero. Then indicate your feather size. Let's do two inches. Too dark. Let's go back in and reduce the opacity to 40%. I like to cut the inner shadow and the objects above it, like the bar, and paste in place to another layer on top. We can lock this layer so it doesn't move and make any adjustments to any of the elements on the other layers. 